you for joining us again. We're working through um, the first uh, number of the Psalms of Ascent um, in our Book of Psalms this week. We're going to be reading from Psalm 123 today as we start our time. Psalm 123. I lift up my eyes to you, to you who sit enthroned in heaven. As the eyes of a slave look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a female slave look to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, till he shows us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us, for we have endured no end of contempt. We've endured no end of ridicule from the arrogant, of contempt from the proud. I wonder who you look up to. Who is your hero? Have you had heroes in the past? Do you have heroes at this time? Maybe sports stars, environmental activists, royal family members, maybe in your own family, maybe explorers, maybe politicians. The problem with heroes is that inevitably they make a mistake. Uh, they say something or they do something that tarnishes our view of them, knocks them off their pedestal. And of course, there is only one that we can really, truly trust. Only one we can look to with absolute faith and trust. Only one we can completely and utterly depend on as we look up to them. That's the one who never changes, the one who never fails, the one who's faithful, the one who we've already heard never takes his eyes of love from us, the Lord God. Psalm 123 starts with that great reminder to lift our eyes up. Not to the mountains, as we reminded ourselves a few days ago. Not to the gate of Jerusalem. We were looking at the gate of Jerusalem yesterday. Not even to the amazing, astounding, beautiful temple. But to the Lord our God, enthroned in heaven. Our Lord's Prayer, that gift of Jesus, starts with the words, Our Father. We're invited to that privileged place, we've looked at this before, uh, that privileged place to come into the presence of the Lord God, where we get to call him Abba, Dad, Father. It's a safe place, a place that helps us out of our struggles, helps us put our struggles into perspective too. A place in which we can be grounded in the reality of belonging to God, who knows the beginning from the end. As the psalmist looks up, he sees his God on the throne. The Lord of heaven and earth in his position of power and majesty and control. The psalmist cannot help but imagine themselves like a servant, looking to God, their perfect master, trusting God for provision, instruction and direction. And what a perfect master. A master to whom the servant can call out for mercy from the struggles of life and the world. Not once, but he calls out three times in this short, short psalm. And of course, we know that the God of heaven heard his people's cry for mercy because he came down as the son, Jesus, God in the flesh, where, of course, he endured great contempt and ridicule mentioned in the psalm and much, much worse. He came to show God's great mercy for those who would look up to heaven, those who would look up to the Lord God for help can receive this mercy. So may we look up from our struggles this week. May we take a moment to lift our eyes up to the Lord God of heaven and earth, the Lord God who came to this earth to show us his mercy and his grace and his love. May God bless us this day. <laughs>